welcome to another video on the YouTube channel. My task for today is to tackle my wardrobe, which is this beautiful thing behind me. And I figured that I would bring you guys along for the journey. I'm off to the UK in two weeks from tomorrow, which is so crazy. So I thought that I would clean out my wardrobe before I go so that I come back to it looking nice and clean and tidy. And so that my packing and preparation for my trip is just made like a little bit easier. And hopefully I won't pack unnecessary things that I don't actually wear or use or think that I will wear because I'm in a different country because I also tend to do that. I'm like, I don't wear that in my everyday life, but in the UK, in London, maybe. But we all know if I don't wear it in my everyday life, the chances that I'm gonna wear it in a different country is slim to none. So that is what we are going to be doing for today's video. If you guys are new, then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel right down below. Make sure you guys follow my Instagram and TikTok as well because I've really been enjoying creating short form content lately. So those are all the places that you can find me while I'm on my trip over the next few weeks. But I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, aren't I? We need to tackle what's I was gonna say in front of me what's right behind me right now and that is this messy as fuck wardrobe to be honest it doesn't look that bad when I look at it like this but trust me I don't wear half of this stuff I have been super super lucky to be able to work with a brand called silent theory for the past like six months I'd say so I have a bunch of new stuff that I love and that I absolutely will not get rid of none of my silent theory clothes are going in today's video which is like 85% of my wardrobe so we will see how we go I just need to like organize I think that's the main thing I get my silent theory packages and I just shove the clothes in the cupboard wherever they fit at the moment things need to go on hangers shelves need to have sections and that is what we're gonna do today. All right, so opening the left-hand side of this cupboard. <laughs> oh my God, don't judge me. This, I, I know, okay? I know how bad it looks. I know how bad it is. Literally, I couldn't tell you what each shelf is for. I think originally this bottom shelf was supposed to be for hoodies and workout clothes. Then this was supposed to be pajamas little t-shirts bigger t-shirts but it like what is why why do I still have a bag in here from the show like this is full of a couple different products that I got from small businesses at the show like Lacey unpack the bag and put them away <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna do what I normally do which is take every single thing out and slowly sort through them and make piles okay so I've pulled out everything from the bottom three shelves. I'm gonna leave this shelf until last, which is like all my t-shirts. It's just a little overwhelming for me to add all of them together. The t-shirts are probably the only thing that are still like somewhat in order because I wear t-shirts the most out of any item of clothing. So yeah, I'm gonna leave that one till the end and go through that last, but these bottom three were just completely mixed up and just nothing had a shelf or a purpose so let's now go through and organize into piles and pick out the things that i no longer wear So far, as you can hopefully see, I've gotten together a couple of different piles, a pile for each different item of clothing, I guess. So this pile here are all of my just like plain black shorts. 50% are biker shorts, 50% are just like comfy around the house shorts, which always came in handy in summertime for working from home. This pile here is my thicker winter shirts. So I've just got like a long sleeve black one, a green one, another black one. And then if you've been around for a while and you have watched a lot of my wardrobe declutters, then you would probably recognize this guy. <laughs> this is something that I got on Shein maybe like 
I don't even know, probably three or four years ago now. And when I bought this, I was obsessed with it. I was like, this is going to be like such a cute and quirky outfit that I'm going to put together. Never figured out what I was to pair it with, but I have never worn it and I'm not getting rid of it until I put it in at least one outfit. I was so determined on and I know it's ugly. Like, the purpose is kind of supposed to be ugly. Like, ugly sweater type vibes. But I'm, I swear, I'm not getting rid of this until the day comes that I can wear it. And then I will part ways with it. So yeah, that goes in that pile. I will refold in just a second. This pile here is a bunch of my more girlier, like shorter cropped tops. These are things that I very, very rarely wear. But in the case of like a special occasion, I don't know, these are all kind of just like staples, like a lacy brown crop top. And then I've got the same thing in black. I've got a green bodysuit. I don't know, just like you never know when you might need something like that. So instead of buying one in the future, which I'm sure I will need to at some point, I'm just keeping these ones. They really don't take up much space either. So I'm totally fine about it. This is a more girly frilly crop top as well. Also, I don't know why it's coming out so washed out on camera. I can't even describe to you how different this color is in person. It's like a brighter like grass green. That is that pile. This pile here is all of my summer pajamas, so shorts and crop tops. This pile here is a workout pile, so tight and active wear tops then this part right here is my hoodie pile um since working with silent theory and the winter months i have become quite the hoodie hoarder i am obsessed with all of these and they're all pretty much brand new so i will not be getting rid of any of them but i did go through and get rid of quite a few things i've just been chucking stuff in this pile here this blue bag is like a donation bag so yeah I've gotten rid of quite a few winter tops a few tights that I literally have not worn in years they probably wouldn't even fit me to be honest a couple of old hoodies old shorts like this when am I ever wearing this it's like bright yellow <laughs> I'm now gonna work on putting everything back in I need a whole section for hoodies so I think the hoodies I'm gonna put down on the very bottom shelf these two hoodies are two of my recent finds from silent theory I'm obsessed so so obsessed they're so warm and cozy um, you guys can use code LACY15 if you want to shop on silent theory and get 15% off um, I do not get anything from that coupon code. I just like sharing it with you guys because their stuff is so freaking good. These two hoodies are like a similar style to those ones. So I'm gonna put these ones in next. The bottom one, again, Silent Theory. This top one is one of our hoodies from To Nurture Your Soul. There's only a few sizes left as well. So if you guys wanna jump on in, snatch them up while they're there. Oh my gosh, that's the thing with hoodies. They're just <laughs> so chunky that they don't wanna stay. Common needs sweater type vibe and then another silent theory this is more like a long sleeve t-shirt kind of that's already looking so much better so happy next shelf i think is gonna have to be pajamas i think these are all my bigger t-shirts and stuff so i'll pop them there do all my summer stuff over this side and i just need my issue is that i don't know where to put my active wear because the next shelf has to be for little tops hmm okay for now i'm just gonna put my active wear here and we'll we'll sort it once we sort the next shelf okay so i'm gonna put my knitted stuff up there my little tiny girly tops next to that this is a knitted cardigan from silent theory that can go I feel like that is not looking too bad. It's looking so much better than before. I'm now going to pull out everything from this shelf. And I'm going to try and really be super cutthroat with the oversized t-shirts. These are all oversized t-shirts. I have so many. I definitely do not wear all of these. So let's see what we wear, what we don't wear, what we want to keep, what we want to get rid of. One 
ones again. I've made my piles. I don't know why that one's just randomly there. That one needs to go on that pile. So this is a pile of all of my crop tops. So most of them are Silent Theory, but I've got like Puma, Shein, Thrills, Ally. <laughs> one that I haven't even worn yet. So yeah, those are all of my different crop tops. These ones here are long sleeve tops. They can probably go just in front of these knitted stuff. They're not knitted, so I don't think that they should go in this pile, but they're like same vibes. Long sleeve, winter, top clothes. I also pulled out from the oversized t-shirt pile a little Thrills crop that I think I'm probably just gonna wear at the gym now. Um, I like wearing ones like these to the gym. I have one from Silent Theory that I do wear to the gym all the time, so I'm gonna add this to my gym pile. And then these are all of the things that I got rid of. So two tight kind of like crop tops. The reason I'm getting rid of these is because they have like the slightest turtleneck and I can't, I feel too claustrophobic. I wore them a few times for like videos, you know, for filming stuff, but I would never wear these throughout the entirety of a whole day. So no thank you. Um, I also have a couple of oversized t-shirts that I just don't wear anymore. I already have so many like, I would wear these if I didn't have options, but I have options and these options are better. So <laughs> I'm getting rid of those. This Casper t-shirt, I've had once again in so many of my wardrobe declutters. This was a thrift um, piece and now that I'm looking at it, I kind of want to keep it again. It was only $5, but like Casper, okay, no, stop. Keeping, I'm keeping it. I changed my mind. <laughs> and this is one that, I don't know. I got it when I was in Byron um, and I do really like it, but I just, I don't wear it. And I feel like the color, I really like green. And this green, again, isn't picking up on camera the same color that it is in person, but it's just not a very flattering green. It's like very limey. It sucks because it was freaking expensive. I think the shirt was like 60 or $70. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to my girlfriend. Going through these piles shouldn't be allowed. I should have just push them all to the side and had it be that. But anyways, so yeah, those are my piles. Let's try and put them in the cupboard now. I feel like a couple of those oversized t-shirts need to be washed as well, but I'll do that next week. And I've got all of the crops, which can slide in next to them. Um, I have to fit the shorts in somewhere. See, this is where I struggle. I don't have enough like shelves. I feel like I need one more shelf and I'd be able to organize everything so much better. Maybe I could take everything from the very, very top one. I have one more all the way up the top. Maybe. This is filthy. This is getting thrown. It's absolutely disgusting. I have my Udi, which I absolutely love. I used to have a coupon code for them. I'll see if I can find it and see if it still works and I'll link it or put it on the screen if it does. I'm obsessed with my Udi and next week I think it's supposed to be like 15 degrees here. So I'm definitely keeping this handy. I might like hang it up in my wardrobe or something. That might be a little bit better. I'm glad I went through this shelf. These are all of my old work clothes from when I did pub work. Um, I was helping them out, as you guys know, for a couple months after I actually quit. I was like just going in to help them out when they needed it. No, thank you. Not anymore. Goodbye. A random hat. <laughs> I don't even remember buying this, but it's cool. I like it. I'm gonna keep it. So on that extra shelf up the very top, I think I'm gonna put my active wear. When I go to work out, I don't really care what outfit. Like, I don't have to see my options. I'll just, you know, stick my hand up, pick something out. And then I might just put my stack of shorts next to those. Oh, amazing. Moving on to the hanging side. I feel like I have so many cool things in here that I'm not gonna wanna get rid of, but a lot of them, again, are things that I just have not worn in such a long time. So let's do the same thing. Let's take everything out, go through it, put it back in. Oh my god, I have everything out. It's so weird going through your clothes every like six months, every 12 months, however often you normally do it. And I'm taking note this time in particular, I am 
such a completely different person to who I was the last time that I went through and decluttered my wardrobe. So seeing all of the things that I was so attached to last time I did this for whatever reason and just wanting to throw them away now is like such a crazy thing. I feel like I'm nowhere near as attached to certain pieces of clothing as what I used to. I think because I used to be so worried that if I threw something away, I might not have any clothes, you know, the next month or the next month or whenever. Like, I felt like if I got rid of my clothes, I would never have enough money to buy more, which <laughs> that's so, it's so crazy that like just by cleaning out my wardrobe, I'm realizing how much of a mental shift I've had, not only in my you know everyday life but also in my relationship with money i don't know it's it's very very weird how just cleaning out your wardrobe can really show you how much time has gone on and how much you have changed the last time i cleaned out my wardrobe i think was like six months ago and i don't think i've ever felt so much change reflected in like my outfits and what i choose to wear like i am so comfortable getting rid of certain things now because I know who I am. I know what outfits make me feel comfortable. I know what I will dress in and what I won't. So getting rid of all of those other things where I'm like, oh, I don't know, I don't know, maybe one day, maybe one day, like it's easy because I'm like, I won't wear that. And I don't know, if I ever want anything similar, I'll just buy it again a different time. I don't know. Little tangent, little side note, because I'm like looking at a lot of this stuff and I'm like, like, I'm so different now, so, so different in every single aspect of my life. Personal, physical, style, mental, everything about me is different to the last time that I did this and that is just so crazy to me. And doing this is really showing me that. Anyways, side note, but if you haven't cleaned out your wardrobe lately, do it and see how you feel because you might have gone through so much change and so much growth in your life, but not actually realize it until you like see it physically and tangible, tangibly, tangible, tangibly, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Cause clothes do hold a lot of who we are. Like it's how we present, it's how we express ourselves. Anyways, back to doing this. Um, let's see how much I can get rid of. Perfect example of what my little tangent was just going on about this oversized like button-up white t-shirt is something that I used to keep throughout every single one of my wardrobe declutters just in the off chance that I was to ever do like lingerie shoots again this is what I used to wear in a lot of lingerie shoots it's just like a cover over or I don't know it's like cute sexy vibes for like lingerie i don't fucking know so yeah i always kept this because i was like it's perfect for shoots i look at this now and i'm like i'm never doing another lingerie shoot again like never <laughs> i love doing shoots i still do love taking photos being in photos doing the whole thing but just not lingerie that's just not who i am anymore it was part of who i was for so long but now couldn't be me you know so this See you later. I have so many jeans now too. Like that's my issue. I love these jeans. They're so flattering. And I would wear them all the time. Oh my God, they've even got the rips in the knees. Stop. I would wear them all the time, but I think I need to get rid of them. The buckles are like so tarnished. And I did actually forget that there was rips in the knees. I'm not really like a ripped jeans gal anymore two silent theory jeans absolutely keeping oh my god if you have watched all my declutters you know you know what these pants i loved these when i bought them they were so expensive and i wore them like two or three times and they're so unique to the point that like these are a very particular type of pants i will not be wearing these no, these do not match my personality now. Um, and I haven't wanted to get rid of these because they were so expensive. They're thrills, so they're like pricey and good quality. But I can't get rid of them. They were so expensive. These ones are inside out, but they're like the fake leather thing. I love these. I have never worn them because I've never found the right place to wear them. But I love them and I love the style of fake leather pants. More jeans, a pair of plain black ones. Oh, do I keep, do I not keep? I feel like I haven't worn these in ages. I have my Silent Theory black ones. 
definitely keeping my butterfly pants. Love those. I think I'm going to get rid of them. They're so old. I wore the shit out of them when I first got them. Shein, maybe like $20 or $30 or something. So if I really want another pair, purchase a newer pair. Leather jacket, obsessed. Goes so well with like going out at nighttime dresses. I wouldn't say clubbing, but like going to a nice bar or a nice pub or something. Ripped denim black. Have not worn in years, probably will not wear again. Now this is one, a crowd favorite. Absolutely love. It's old, but I still wear it all the time. It's so cute. Green corduroy throwover t-shirt, absolutely keeping. Another oversized t-shirt, like just throwover thing. I don't know. I think I've never found a way to style this. I think that was, I think that's been my issue. It's cute, but I don't think it's giving as much as I would like it to give. Another fave. Just one of those ugly sweater vibes. I don't know if I've ever worn this outside in my house, but it's comfy, it's cozy, um, and I really like it, so I'm going to keep it. Bought this for my job at the pub when I was working there. I got promised manager so many times, so I had bought so many nice manager type Tops. Every time I was promised manager, it never, it never came to fruition. So I have this because of that, but I think it's the perfect top to keep if I ever have like in-person meetings or if I have anything with work where I want to look a little bit more professional. Oh my God, you guys, the Wrangler skirt. Again, this has been through so many declutters. It was expensive. It's cute, but I think today's the day we get rid of it because I think it's a size eight. And I am never, ever, ever getting into a size 8 ever again. I was hoping and holding out for the day, but if I continue to go to the gym as often as I have been, my ass is not getting into a size 8. Alright, this is my new stack of everything that I'm keeping. And the pile of things that I'm throwing away is actually getting quite large. I hope I have a second bag to put all of these in, but I am so freaking proud of myself. That is growth people <laughs> growth <laughs> there is so much more room in here which i'm so happy about i feel like i could easily fit like a bunch more stuff in here um but i do like how roomy it is at the moment as well so i've just kind of organized it with pants over this side Jackets and t-shirts in the middle and then dresses over this side. I've gotten rid of everything off of all of these coat hangers, which is so crazy to me. I am very, very happy with that. My wardrobe can now close easily. I love it. <laughs> So just like that, the wardrobe declutter is complete. I feel so relieved having gotten this task finally done, especially before I head away in a couple weeks. I think packing is going to be so much easier, not only in terms of what clothes I'm actually bringing, but also just like finding bits and pieces in my wardrobe to pack. I think it's just going to be so much easier. So, oh. I'm so glad I got that done today. And thank you guys so much for coming along with me. I love bringing you all along with me while I declutter my wardrobe because otherwise I'm doing it on my own and that's really freaking boring. If you did enjoy today's video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel right down below if you haven't already. So with all of that being said, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I love you all very much and I will talk to you all in the next video. Bye.